What I found interesting in the short film Plastic is the convention of the butterfly. It seemed as if the butterfly was almost part of the film, and obviously with most award-winning short films they have a similarity of a symbolisation, so to speak. It's a metaphor in a way, considering how it follows through as the story progresses. I also liked how once she had realised that she could alter her appearance, she gave almost similar dimensions and shaping as to what a Barbie doll would have, which would literally kill a human body. Yeah, that's a convention in itself, considering it's conforming to the dominant ideologies of body image issues, which you can't see in full length of films. Yeah, I was thinking that as to how short films are better in respect to approaching issues like that, because the point needs to be made directly to create that sort of shock factor. Whereas if it is dro dragged out for half an hour in a full length film, then not only would the film be boring, but you'd lose your audience. It just wouldn't be worth it. I like how in the short film there is that sort of mixture of unknowing whether it is a documentary or a nar narrative form. It's in, it's in a sense that both, it's in, it's in a sense both, because it's real life and in the sense that she wants to be a girl and it's made to appear to be challenging and approaching body image issues. But it's also a narrative because it's taken it to the unrealistic extent. Nobody is capable of altering their facial features by literally stretching the feature so simply, which makes it unrealistic. The short film kind of has that colourful form to it throughout, which could be a connotation to how the woman wants to appear as some sort of Barbie doll, with the whole idea that Barbies are colourful. It just has that feel that it's meant to be happy, but as soon as she gets into the bathroom, the colour seems to fade, which could represent how unhappy she is with her appearance, considering the setting has faded to gloom. To be honest, I thought that too, especially with the whole idea that once she realises she can alter her body, she has altered her body into what would be standard. But she still isn't happy. She prefers to be old. She prefers to old her and it depicts the message that everybody should be happy in the skin that they're actually in. Yeah, it shows up with the title too and it's evidently obvious at the end.